Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. I am Dr. Ram. In today's topic of discussion, we are going to see about the non-chemical control of respiration. Let's get into the topic. In this topic, we are going to see about the airway and lung receptors. This whole topic is very important because of one reflex that is called as herring brewer inflation reflex. This is frequently asked in exams as well as in viva questions. So make sure that you read this herring brewer inflation reflex. And we will talk about something about the lung irritant receptors which are involved in herring brewer deflation reflex as well as the cough reflex. It is involved in both these reflexes and finally the J receptors and J reflex. Now coming to the airway lung lung receptors. In airway and lung receptors there are two kinds of groups. One is the myelinated group that is the myelinated receptors and another one is unmyelinated receptors. This myelinated receptors are further classified into slowly adapting pulmonary stretch receptors and rapidly adapting pulmonary stretch receptors. So the name indicates some of them they slowly adapt to the pulmonary stretch and some of them they rapidly adapt to the pulmonary stretch. And coming to the third group which is called as pulmonary C fibers and bronchial C fibers. This pulmonary C fibers and bronchial C fibers they are also called as J receptors. We will try to understand why they got this name also. Now coming to the whole discussion, this topic first we have to discuss the location of that particular receptor and what is the stimuli which can excite them and what is the function that is the what is the reflex since it is the receptor we are going to see what is the reflex. So all we will be discussing all the receptors under these subtopics. So coming to the first one which is our slowly adapting receptors. This is the receptor which is involved in the famous herring brewer reflex. Let's try to understand first the location. This slowly adapting receptors are located in the smooth muscles of the bronchial wall. So what can stimulate them? So whenever there is an expansion of the lung and especially the overstretching of the lung. Normal lung expansion does not cause that but whenever there is a over expansion or overstretching then this reflex or these receptors can be activated. What they do is they get activated and they through the vagal afferents they go and stop the inspiratory ramps. So basically whenever there is a overstretching we don't want that so it is going to inhibit the overstretching and cause the expiration. So this overstretching is a stimulus for it and what is the action it is going to stop the inspiratory ramps. What is the function of it? This will help us to limit the tidal volume. Does this happen in normal individuals during normal situation? The answer is no because our tidal volume is normally yes 500 ml. But this reflex gets activated only when there is a overstretch like around 1 to 1.5 liter. One time the question has been asked how much time the overstretching can activate the herring brewer reflex. Go for 1 liter since it is given in West respiratory physiology. So this 1 liter will be our preferred option. Now coming to the lung irritant receptor are rapidly adapting receptors. So what is their location? They are located under the columnar cells of the epithelium. In the trachea and the extra pulmonary bronchi, these are called as cough receptors. What could be the reason? Of course, whenever any irritant falls into our mouth, we are going to cough it out. But when the irritant goes down to the bronchi or alveoli, we don't cough it off. So the same receptors are named as cough receptors whenever it is in the trachea and extra pulmonary bronchi. They are named as lung irritant receptors whenever it is in the intra bronchi and lower down bronchioles. What is the stimulation? Of course the irritants it can be a mechanical irritant or a chemical irritant and all of them go via the afferent vagi. What is the reflex action? The reflex action is whenever you cough it out what you are going to do? You are going to breathe in a lot and it causes hyperapnea meaning both the depth as well as the rate will be increased. So hyperapnea means both depth of inspiration as well as the rate of inspiration is increased. There is a specific reflex called as herring brewer deflation reflex meaning whenever the lung glows in for a severe deflation these receptors can get activated and they can help in hyperapnea that is taking in a deep breath and causing the expansion of the lung. 
so whenever the lung goes for overstretching also it is prevented as well as whenever the lung goes for deflation also it is being prevented with the help of these receptors and it is also helpful this specific receptor is also helpful in augmented breath like taking in very deep breaths now coming to the last receptor that is our j receptors this is also called as pulmonary or bronchial c receptors these are unmyelinated fibers these are un myelinated fibers these are our unmyelinated fibers and this was identified by a scientist who is an indian scientist the professor's name is a s pinton and what is the location it is located very close to the pulmonary capillary region just close to the pulmonary capillary region which is also called as juxta pulmonary region that is why this receptors have been given the name j receptors because of its specific location so what is the stimuli for this whenever there is a pulmonary congestion or edema or microembolism or any other irritants these receptors can get activated when they get activated they will cause a classical triad as a reflex causing apnea that is expiratory apnea hypotension as well as bradycardia reduction in heart rate all this will happen whenever the j receptors get activated it will also cause bronchoconstriction as well as excessive mucus secretion and it also inhibits the spinal stretch reflex and affects the muscles of the chest wall region so due to this what happens if the person is having any kind of pulmonary congestion his respiratory effort will be decreased this mechanism is said to be having a physiological role in exercise so what happens is whenever the person is exerting himself more and more this reflex can get activated and it will inhibit the spinal stretch reflex causing the person to stop like it causes the fatigue of the muscles of inspiration and expiration and it will cause the fatigue of the person and it will prevent him from over exercising but the sad part is this is the one of the receptors which got activated during bhopal gas tragedy because of severe pulmonary congestion in the individuals who were in that gas accident so what has happened it has inhibited their spinal stretch reflex also and those persons were not having the ability to move from the area and save themselves so this receptor is having some good physiological role but at the same time whenever it is activated severely it will cause severe bronchoconstriction mucus secretion as well as inhibition of the spinal stretch reflex i hope it's clear now coming to the take home points the herring brewer inflation reflex it is the one which is preventing the over inflation of the lung and they get activated around the tidal volume of 1 liter that is over stretching of the lung then herring brewer deflation reflex is with the help of rapidly adapting receptors which are also called as cough receptors then the j receptors is also called as juxta pulmonary receptors whenever they get activated the classical triad of apnea hypotension and bradycardia happens and this j receptors are the one which is helpful in causing the j reflex so thank you for listening we'll see in the next video thank you